Another thing that's interesting in Photoshop is using color to connect different uh, photographs, images, sketches, whatever it may be, uh, especially if they have different tonal qualities in them. And so you almost use the color as a map over the top to kind of unify the whole thing, all the images that are underneath. And so here I have some architectural photos here. One is of a hallway down one way and the other one is going down the opposite direction. And if you put these two together, uh, the, the image on this side is a little darker uh, in value compared to this image here. And so uh, visually they don't unite completely. But what's a nice feature in Photoshop is using a colored layer to maybe unify those two. And so one thing we can do here is if I'm going to uh, click on and do color balance and click on that. And what I'm going to do is this is, let's uh, make this a little blue. And so I'll crank the cyan. Uh, same thing, uh, just to let you know for your information, when you're doing your uh, uh, your curves uh, and your color balance here, and your curves, when you're pulling the, the, um, the little chart up and down, you're pushing away. When you're in the red chart, you're, you're going away from red, you're making it more cyan. If you're going away from green, you make it more magenta, and when you go away from blue, you make it more yellow. But uh, well, uh, I'll just cancel off there here, and just let's show you what I'm talking about. So we'll do curves. And so we're if we go on the red channel, you know, as we pull away this way, it actually is increasing the cyan because that's uh, basically the opposite. So we increase the red, you know, it decreases the cyan. And then uh, let's put that back to option to reset it. And then if we grab the green, uh, you know, the green's going one way, and then the the you know the uh, uh, magenta's going the other way on that one, you know. And then if we, uh, let's reset that as well. And the last one's blue, yellow. So we'll go to blue. And then we crank the, if we take the blue down or crank the blue up, you know. So if you crank the blue up, it's, it's hitting the blues. And if you take the yellow, uh, the blue the opposite direction, it's, it's amplifying the yellow. So that's one thing that's basically happening when you're, when you're doing these charts for the curves. The same thing here for color balance. We'll just go to color balance here. And I kind of like the blue on it, so what I'll do is I'll take the cyan up a little, a little bit, and then I'll crank the blue a little bit, just kind of give it that kind of whispery, wispy kind of, you know, foggy kind of, you know, cold kind of look. We can, you know, push it a little bit more if we go into the shadow tones, and then crank the blue up just a little bit more. Uh, you have to kind of be careful in this because sometimes what happens, you can get an image that maybe becomes too photoshoppy, uh, you know, but uh, we'll move this over just a bit, you know, we'll get this point here in the corner, and this point here in the corner, so it creates kind of a nice, kind of interesting image, you know, using color to basically unify the two images there, uh, and so we can see that also, let me uh, close this out, I'm not going to save this, um, what we can do, we can see it here in a more complex image, uh, if we have this image up here, you can look at this and say, Jim, many crickets, how did this come together? But this is actually uh, a combination of a bunch of different images. Let me click on this one up here. And uh, what we see here is th these are just photographs of uh, a building out in California. Uh, it was kind of interesting. And, you know, you look at these different kind of nice architectural features. You know, the numbers on the wall, or, you know, for the, for the um, house address. Uh, here's just, you know, the meter for the electricity, uh, different angles of the building, different shots cropping in in different directions, you know, the numbers shot in different directions, you know, the back of the house as well. And so basically what's, what's going to, you know, happen in this image over here is we'll combine all these images together in interesting ways, you know, scale in different sizes and in different uh, blending layer modes. And what that will do is create, you know, a dynamic image. And so let me blow this up a bit more. We'll shrink it down here so you can get this more on the screen here. And I'll just go through the layers here. Let's go through. I'm going to option click on this first one. There's a house, desaturated a little bit, cut off a little bit here. And, you know, just start combining things, you know. So these two together, you know, click here. You can see you just added this one other little structure there at a different little angle, kind of creating an own uh, its own kind of unique building. And let's go to the next one here. Here's another one added at a different angle. You know, so here we have the three structures here, but you can see uh, 
right here, what I did is I, you know, it's overlaid, you know, overlaid on top of here. And so that kind of gives it that ghost transparent look, you know, what Photoshop is basically famous for, right? And so if we take that to normal, you know, uh, you can see where, you know, it comes across, but by having the overlay uh, filter applied to it, it creates kind of this ghost-like appearance, which is, which is quite nice. Um, and so we can also, let me hit option, click, and get all these back on here. Uh, you can see how many layers that are in this image itself. Uh, even the text, you know, adding text in here as well in different parts, you know. Here's, uh, it's hard to see, it's right here. Let me click on this bottom so you can, you can see it. You know, just a little text there. I'll show you all the text that's put in here. You know, right down here on the grid. You know, energy. You know, and so, you know, adding all this, whoops. Let's do that. We'll click these on. Let's see. Click these on here. These are just little embellishments that you can add to to an image, you know. And so you can see them all here. You know, different color qualities here. Pulling out a gradient inside it to give it a little kind of shift in in the value, you know. It's pulling the ball back up. Let's see. You know, a little bit. You know, this is basically, uh, you know, pinned over this image here you know in this little section here and uh, but let's pull all these back up soft light so you can see how you can build an image in Photoshop connecting these things using color you know let's let's take some of this color off so we can see what it looks like without any of the color you know it still makes kind of an interesting image but using the color kind of unites it and unifies the overall you know composition let's go up here and go back to the original but I uh, just wanted you to see that how you can you know combine all these different elements together and make for a very elaborate uh, collaged uh, composition here's uh, one more that I can show you uh, let's click on this let's blow this up a bit you can see here this is just kind of a strange you know collage of different kind of poetic allegorical images you know let's uh, show you what this is made of let's pull this up here and here's you know a poem here that uh, uh, you know and then combining you know numbers you know and, and hand-drawn sketched elements a photograph of just the ground some you know some stuff on the ground from a construction site you know, just shooting the corner of a car's, you know, the the rear tail light, you know, uh, real close, you know, and just kind of blurred out. Take a quick shot of it. It creates kind of an interesting shot as well. Yeah, you, know, you can also look at uh, some Polaroids, you know, and some just doodles, you know, and just some weird shots of, you know, different, you know, highlights and reflections and some different textures and such. And we can add all those together, and it creates a uh, dynamic image as well. Let's see. Here we have... Uh, let's hide this. You know, a little star pattern. Let's go up here. You can see the uh, different things that are going on. There's that text, you know. Let's see what else we have here. Different parts of the face, you know, pulled together. Some not even on the screen, you know. That six is off the screen there. And so I just combine all these elements together and makes for a very dynamic collage. And so just experiment and see what happens. Here's one more of those combined collages as well. You know, same thing from that first, uh, second one I showed you. You know, pulling together different architectural features. You know, it's the same buildings, you know. We're just pulling them together and uh, making for a very dynamic image, you know, just pulling around, playing around, and see what can come up. Here, you know, softly kind of blur the edges so that they're not super hard transitions. Exploring different, you know, blending option overlays, you know. Uh, you know, the blending options, you can do some fantastic things with that. And it creates a very dynamic image by collaging all these elements together.